paper has no power in the world. This means, in the case of an American Negro, born in that glittering republic, and in the moment you are born, since you don't know any better, every stick and stone and every face is white, and since you have not yet seen a mirror, you suppose that you are too. It comes as a great shock around the age of five or six or seven to discover the flag to which you have pledged allegiance <laughs> along with everybody else has not pledged allegiance to you. It comes as a great shock to discover that Gary Cooper killing off the Indians when you were rooting for Gary Cooper, that the Indians were you, 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 that the Indians were you. <laughs> has no power in the world. This means, in the case of an American Negro, born in that glittering republic, and in the moment you are born, since you don't know any better, every stick and stone and every face is white, and since you have not yet seen a mirror, you suppose that you are too. It comes as a great shock, around the age of five or six or seven, to discover the flag to which you have pledged allegiance <laughs> along with everybody else has not pledged allegiance to you. It comes as a great shock to discover that Gary Cooper killing off the Indians when you were rooting for Gary Cooper, that the Indians were you, 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 that the Indians were you. <laughs>
Let me out! Let me out! I want out! Easy, Neo. Easy. power in the world. This means, in the case of an American Negro, born in that glittering republic, and in the moment you are born, since you don't know any better, every stick and stone and every face is white, and since you have not yet seen a mirror, you suppose that you are too. It comes as a great shock, around the age of five or six or seven, to discover the flag to which you have pledged allegiance along with everybody else, has not pledged allegiance to you. It comes as a great shock to discover that Gary Cooper killing off the Indians when you were rooting for Gary Cooper, that the Indians were you, 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 that the Indians were you. <laughs>
not understanding that I was also from the tribe of Gad. Now I understand why the anointing was put on my life for such a time as this, my friend, to wake up the sleep, wake up the slumbering among our people, and to let you know that you are the people of the book. And the reason we got all of these names now, Cherokee, Apache, Seminole, hello. All of these other names, go to Isaiah 65 and 15. Isaiah 65 and 15. Blow that dust off your Bible, get a paper, and get a pencil and go along with me. Isaiah 65 and 15. And you shall leave your name for a curse. And you shall leave your name for a curse. What was the original name given? Hello. To most of us was Gadites. Hello. Some of us are from the tribe of Ephraim. Right here in the Americas, a.k.a. Turtle Island. We are the ten tribes of the house of Israel. Hello. I'm going to say that again. We are the ten tribes of the house of Israel, uh, Yasharala. We are of the ten tribes of Yasharala. Hello. And you shall leave your name for a curse under my chosen. For the Lord thy God shall slay thee. How did he slay us? He began the slaying in 1492 under Christopher Columbus and call his service by another name. Now you understand why you call by another name? The Most High once again in Psalm 17, 13, and 14 used the wicked to change our name. It was part of our punishment. But now, Bible prophecy says that a troop shall overcome Gad, but Gad shall overcome at the last. Are we in the last day? So the Most High through the Holy Spirit is revealing more of the truth unto us as a people. Hello. I've let you guys know before and I'm going to let you know again. I'm going to follow the truth no matter where it leads. And if I find that I had some lies that I thought was the truth, I'm going to take them lies. And I'm going to ball them up and throw them in the trash as the most high servant because we all been duped. We all been hoodwinked. We all been bamboozled and led astray from the head leader of this movement to the lay members of this movement. Now, some of you out there need to go and do some homework. Hello, further research because we, my friend, are of the ten tribes of the house of Israel. I'll be back later on today and I'm going to do a live and we're going to fellowship and hang out. But we are the people of the book. Shalom.